Hello everyone. Hi guys. Welcome back to Memoirs of a Black Ho. I hope everyone woke up to peace, love, harmony, success, rewards. The only thing you guys have on you guys mind is your long awaited abundance rolling in. You guys don't have nothing else on your mind. You don't have dumb stuff on your mind. You don't have you don't have envy, jealousy, wickedness satanic, demonic, you don't have none of that bad stuff on, on your mind. Um, y'all my cat right now, and my front cat is putting up right now. Man, I don't know that one. But anyway, guys, I hope everyone had a happy, peaceful, safe um, holiday this weekend. I'm jamming to Bob Marley right now. Guys, I was hearing a lot this weekend from my spiritual team. Um, One of my channel messages I did hear from my spiritual team this weekend was that you guys, it's a lot of people asking for your forgiveness now. When I, ter- when I tell you I heard the most largest crowd for forgiveness amongst the people on this earth, amongst the people on this planet, in this world, in this universe. I've I've heard so many souls cry out. And I'm going to tell you something. For those souls who cried out, because I was just speaking on this, a lot of souls that's crying out. I want you guys to know that God heard your cry out. God heard you. Your soul will be saved because God heard you. It's never too late to do the right thing. Always remember that, guys. And a lot of you guys whose souls are crying out, you're not bad people. You probably was told that you were bad all your fucking life. The souls I heard cry out. (coughs) Excuse me. Shit. Hold on, y'all. Oh, Oh my God. I needed that water. Okay, so a lot of you guys whose souls souls were crying, a lot of these souls that were crying out were different types of souls. These souls been crying out for a while, but they were not bad people. I want to tell you that God heard your cry out. And God has God is a merciful God. God has mercy for you. God is a forgiving God. But let me make myself clear. Those there are some souls that God don't give a fuck about how much you cry. I'm gonna be honest. Because you wicked bitches had time. It was two different souls I was picking up on. The good ones that was crying out and these scared souls now. That want to all of a sudden, oh, it's it's true. It's too late. Gosh, it's too late for you guys. It's too late for you guys. See, you lost wicked souls that was doing all kind of wicked shit. And now that y'all got proof that God is in this bitch, and now you want to try to hurry up and say, oh, I, uh-uh. Uh-uh. So don't believe that. Don't believe don't believe the lies that the Christians and all these wicked motherfuckers wrote in these motherfucking false ass Bibles talking about all you have to do is ask God for forgiveness and you're cleansed from just murdering a motherfucking child. Let me tell you something. You bitches will not see. You bitches would not see. You bitches will not see good. I'm going to tell you something right now. You will not see good. You motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. And stop playing on our God top. See, that's why you Christians and all these other motherfuckers had y'all fucked up at, had our God fucked up at thinking that our God just died so you motherfuckers could go kill and rob and rape and steal and then turn around and bring y'all puss asses to Easter fucking church, Easter Sunday services and ask God for forgiveness. Y'all motherfuckers fake. God saw that. Me and God was laughing at y'all motherfuckers. Everybody who was sitting up in that bitch on a, uh, in a best, on a Easter best, Sunday's best, Sunday service and all these free fucking places that all of a sudden want to welcome in all these souls and shit. I want you to know God not dumb, no. 
for no, it's it's a little bit too late. You, you can go buy your motherfucker five hundred dollar outfit. You motherfuckers who trying to be come to church with the biggest church hat on. You bitches could go get your Sunday's best. You demonic demons and devil fucking church clothes. I want you to know your soul ain't saved. God ain't done. God knows all every fucking thing. And you can show up to that bitch all you want yesterday. <laughs> your soul is still on that list. You still on that list. I'm going to tell you something. 90% of all the motherfuckers that ran to church yesterday, Sunday service yesterday, looking their best. Half, 90% of y'all going straight to that place. Straight to that place. Straight to that place. Let me tell you something. The one, the chosen ones, the real chosen ones, you wouldn't. Have, let me tell you something. The real chosen ones who God called, you would, you wouldn't go find them up in nobody's church on Sunday, Sunday, on, on nobody's church, nobody's church. The real chosen ones, you was not about to find them with participating in that fake shit. Just saying that. I'm just saying, you wouldn't go find it. I'm sorry. So y'all, what I got yesterday, God was like, God was showing me so many, y'all, I was just sitting there, God was like, look at this, look at this, this is why I'm coming to cleanse what I have to cleanse, because all the amount of people I cannot get on this face of this earth to do right, but one day, everybody and their mammy could show up for fucking Sunday service to be seen, and I'm telling them about the devil's wealth. And I'm telling them how these people got to let go of these addictions. And yet everybody want to look their fucking best and go to church yesterday. Out of all the fucking days, out of all the wicked, evil shit they've been doing, everybody gathered and went to church. And that was the test. I kept hearing God say that was a test. That was a test to see who was going to show up. God not playing with y'all no more. See all y'all wicked souls that fought, went, gathered up in the motherfuckers? Knowing y'all soul ain't right? This was the year y'all should have never went, is what I heard. This was the year you should have stayed home in your living room and called on to God. Let me pause it right quick, guys. I gotta go chill my iced coffee. It's a little too warm for me. <coughs> okay, guys. I am back. Um, so, yeah, guys, I, so God was like, it was a lot of fakes went to Sunday services church yesterday. It was a lot of these devils and demons um, gathering um, in those services uh, yesterday. So, so I don't know, guys. That's what God wanted me to tell y'all. He says a lot of God saw all those devils that went to church yesterday, all those demons and devils. And she closed and that went to church. I want you to know, God say I saw that. Um, we got number 13 just came out. We got rejection here. 13 in a major arcana is the death card. I feel like it's a woman right here, and she's and it's a picture right here of a man, and it's cobwebs, spider webs, whatever you call it. That's the first card came out. Rejection. So I feel like somebody that you're not in communication with no more. I don't know. It's been a distance, but she's holding this charm. She's holding like a necklace in her hand that's green. It's a charm. So I wonder what, let's see what's going on with, let's see what spirit about to take us to right quick, guys. I have to turn that, camp, that light off some. Hold on, y'all. I was cleaning my nails because y'all already know I hate when I have stuff up under my nails. But I'm so hands-on, so it, you may always catch something up under my nails because I'm so hands-on. <laughs> so, we got rejection out. Mirror, My mirror just fell on the floor. Someone's doing, someone who was trying to perform mirror magic on your beauty ain't do Someone was trying to perform mirror magic it just didn't go through just now. Somebody feel like you letting go of them? Inner child? Inner child came out. Number 16. Somebody somebody 
could have a teenage daughter, 16 years old. Somebody could be feeling rejected. There's rejection here. Let's see what this is about. Two cards hit the flow. Let's see. Hi, buddy. Self-sabotage and courage. A candle been blown out. Someone trying to self-sabotage something? Self-sabotage. And we have courage. Somebody don't want somebody to... <sighs> What's at the bottom? Unleash your creativity. I'm getting from somebody. Somebody is a fucking unique creation, a unique design. I feel like you antique. I feel like you like, I feel like somebody on some Anaki God type stuff. Like, I feel like you're a different creation. Whoever created you, you're a different creation. As I'm just going to say, we're not dealing with some, you're not normal. Whoever this reading for, you're not normal. Okay. So that's where this one going. We're going to see what's going on with your reading. But so far, what I'm picking up on is a lot of rejection. And from the cobwebs on this picture, 16 inner, 16 inner child right now is up. That's the kitten banging on the door, guys, trying to get in and play with the puppies. Come on. Come on. I think that's Raisin. Come on, Raisin. Nope, nope. Okay, they didn't come. Okay, well, you staying in, buddy. You staying in, buddy. Come here. You want to come with Grandma? Come here. You want to meet grandma's friend? Say hi, guys. Say hi, guys. Say hi. Say hi, guys. My name is my name is Dennis. Say I was I was just adopted, guys. Say yay. Say grandma and daddy and CC. Um, they all adopted me this Saturday, so I've been chilling with my new family, and grandma loves me so much. And my name is Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. Okay, guys, I'm going I'm to let you guys enjoy my grandma time. Say, see you later, guys. All right, boy. You want to get on the bed? You going to be a big boy? So what I'm getting from this, guys, is that I'm picking up, I'm, I'm really picking up on you. So it's somebody in this picture. It's somebody on this back. It's somebody in the background that you have not seen you probably don't even quite remember what this person looked like, hence the picture on the wall, and it's really not a full face that you can see, but half of the picture definitely shows a man, a half of a man, and so there's a clock in the background, so it's like it's been some fucking time I'm picking up. Time is very, very significant. This charm in her hand is very significant. Some of you may have a green pendant that you guys wear around your neck. But this green is giving me heart chakra. This green is giving me heart chakra. So it's somebody that heart has been, I'm, I'm picking up on some heart chakra activation going on, but someone feels rejection. Some rejection could have happened when you two guys were teenagers. I'm picking up on with the 16 year old inner child. I'm looking at a lot of innocence right here. You could have been 16 when you could have, Whoever this person is that's in the background, but it's a person that you could have met when you were 16, feels kind of rejected. Something was self-sabotaged. Something was self-sabotaged. Um, this start with the number two, so I'm picking up on high priestess energy. Like someone, like it was a lot of dark energy surrounding you and all around you that literally fucking blew out a fucking flame like somebody self, self somebody sabotage a beautiful connection i'm picking up on and it's been a connection that you could have been involved with since you were 16 years old you had no idea so these dark deities in whatever they are but you had very dark energy surrounding you very close to you they they 
basically made you self-sabotage some type of relationship, something. They basically self sub I mean, self sabotage some type of relationship. Then the relationship was whoever this person is on this, whoever this person is. You guys put yourself in, you know, it's so many billions, but it's dropping by the seconds. But you guys put yourself in whatever shoes that fit. You guys know. These little flexible straws ain't worth shit, but I I guess if I'm being earth friendly. <laughs> Them little silicone straws make me sick. <laughs> I can't stand them. <laughs> but they here, so I'm using them. So um <coughs> You had some dark energy around you. But whoever this man was on this fucking picture, he left somebody. Look. Look at how this woman is reaching, trying to hold, grab him, like, come back. Like, but she's a crawler. So whoever this woman, you had fucking dark demons and, and devils and all kind of fucking, Lord, you had some shit attached to you, my dear. Very close attached to you, and you had no idea. You was just living life, you know, but they was attached to you. They was following you. They was. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. But they was attached to you. And so has this masculine on this here picture. Now, guys, the stories can flop. So masculine, if I'm speaking to you. It could be a female that you met when you was a teenager. Something was sabotaged. And it was not on either one of you guys' behalf. You guys did not even know what the fuck was attached to you guys. This masculine had a crawler attached to him. She was, yeah, she, I'm, I'm getting witchy vibes. Definitely, most definitely, I'm getting very witchy vibes. He had a crawler attached to him. But courage is out right now. So I'm getting like this masculine could be taking the courage to come, to come towards you. We got 31 here. Unleash your creativity. Someone could be 30 years old. Somebody could be 31. Put yourself in whatever shoes that fit. I'm going to confirm these cards for you guys. Just to see exactly what it is we're going to get. What deck I want to use for this? Bob Marley said, get up, stand up, and stand up for your rights. One thing one thing about ancestors, ancestors know one thing. I do it. They can't, cool, I'm going to get up. I stand up, and I speak up for my rights. Fuck these people, man. I ain't sparing no, I ain't sparing no wicked one feelings, especially, bitch, if you was attached to me since I was 16 years old. trying to see if you guys can if wait no yeah attached to something innocent since they were 16 years old since they since they was a fucking no and now you now that you and your full beast power they want you to oh quiet down son you know that so not don't don't be so girl fuck you boy fuck you i'm coming for every fucking demon that had they fucking funk ass around me and mine i promise you i done slayed them bitches and steady slaying them bitches. Every time they try to send one, you better fucking shh. They scared, they scared of y'all now. They ain't fear y'all now. They, motherfucker can't even, what they just told me is they can't even speak your fucking name around these demons. The demons will even get up and flee. Motherfuckers don't want to be in no conversation, no part of your name now. Okay, what is rejection? Let's see what rejection is, guys. So we got the five of pentacles. We got the star. And we got the six of wands. That's what I'm saying. Someone fell out in the cold, but this is how this person sees you. You the nine of cups. You got you standing in some nine of cups energy. You standing in some beautiful fucking energy. This person sees you like, I mean, that's, that's the one. That's the one. Tapestry on your wall could be very symbolic. 
somebody could be in a blue house robe right now that could be very symbolic but somebody is watching you i feel like every fucking morning <laughs> somebody's waiting for you to rise every fucking morning and that's this person that kind of feel rejected it's rejection right here but 13 is the death court and the um major corners so this could be a rebirth coming in so I'm thinking this man is about to take the like I feel like y'all done got a lot of dark shit I feel like y'all done defeated a lot of dark shit I feel like someone done defeated a lot of dark shit and somebody something is moving in now <clears throat> that's what I feel you got the five of pentacles that came out And the way this person is on her knees is like somebody could be worshiping. It's three snakes on a tree. It's giving me holy trinity intuition. Like I feel like somebody could is like just could be in some five of pentacles energy, but I feel like somebody is still very so much grateful to give thanks. I feel like somebody is still in this energy, in her five of pentacles energy is, is living a grateful heart, a thankful heart. 17. Most 17s is, you see a female star. This star is two people now. This star is a little bit different. This star is two people gazing up at the stars, looking up at the stars, laying down at night like uh, living a fucking good life, six of ones. I feel like a high level fucking commitment coming into you. And this high level commitment is this person that's in your background. You ain't heard from this person since cobwebs. I'm talking about, you ain't heard from, it's like some cobwebs, it's some spider webs, it's like, <laughs> y'all, I got some, y'all, listen, I hear channel messages from, and I, and, and listen, and I even accept the funny ones too, I'm not gonna lie, somebody just saying, knock the dust off that pussy, I'm telling you, I just, <laughs> I just heard, I, I heard it from, but I heard it in a celebrity voice though, like a, who said that? It was on a movie. Somebody said something about knocking the dust off that pussy. So somebody could be celibate. I'm, I'm picking up on celibacy. It's been a fucking while. Like, it's been a while, while. But stars is all about your wishes, your hopes, your desires, your dreams, your fantasies. You know, all the good things. All the good things. And it seems like this person star is to wish is to be with you and i think she could be praying i'm whoever this divine feminine is i feel like you not even your mind not even on the materialistic shit you're going off a straight divine intuition it's a lot of wisdom i'm picking up from this divine feminine and this five of pentacles and this five of pentacles is a different five of pentacles energy i'm just picking up on it's somebody who who ain't on material wealth shit i'm serious somebody is connected to source mother earth and divine and because you are i mean i just feel like you have a whoever this is that feels that's feeling rejection y'all may not be in community it's just like i don't know what's going on with you but you two guys are a couple that's made for each other this is a high level relate a high level commitment right here. This is a very high level relationship. These are this is a star couple, two stars, and is and is, you know, rejection out there. But six of ones is right here. But I don't know, guys. I mean, she is she is riding alone. I don't know. <laughs> she is riding alone, no. But somebody wishing for. That's that man on that picture. Somebody been wanting you since you were 16. Mm -hmm. And it's been a while. That's how they see you. What's the inner child? What's the inner child? Four of Cups. You've been chilling. See that? You've been chilling. Somebody been fucking chilling. That man is in tune with your ass. I'm picking up on a strong fucking divine masculine. He could have, he could come from a descendant of Viking background. That's what I'm picking up with this hip. He could, 
like they're descendants of some Viking background, some Viking god. I'm thinking like like some Viking god. I don't know. Yeah, it was definitely a Viking god. He was a king, a ruler. I'm picking it up on like a ruler, a Viking god, a rich one. But for inner child, you got the four of cups. And most four of cups is someone in like low energy. You're a divine feminine. You're not this and this divine feminine is so fucking different, y'all. Cause no matter it seems like no matter what the fuck <clears throat> what the fuck the enemy tried to put in her way, she's not in no negative energy. Her five of pentacles even look different. Most five of pentacles, somebody got their head down, you know, they really thinking about fuck, man. She she is on her knees. She is still giving thanks. She is giving thanks. Cause she is it's three snakes up there. That is very symbolic, bro. That is very symbolic. Her intuition knows she got good things coming to her. Look at this four of cups. It's completely different. She just patiently waiting. Some of you be looking out your fucking window every day. Someone is a, a sky gazer. Someone is looking for someone. Is patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. Seashells is very symbolic. You could be um, a seashell collector. You be, you could be connected to the seas, the waters and seas. Somebody is what somebody knows something is coming. Somebody knows something is fucking coming. Someone knows something is coming. That's all I'm saying. Someone knows something is coming. So we got the four cups. She's out. You looking for something to come in. And guess what that something is coming is? Let me cover the. Look at that. The sun card. Adam and Eve type shit. That's how y'all going to be when you. Whoever, I'm, whoever this person. I just said this was a star couple. And then I just said that. This guy, hold on, y'all. Let me check on my grandbaby because he over here doing something. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. His little bad ass was into something. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this couple, <coughs> I'm just getting like a lot of <coughs> Adam and Eve type stuff on this sun cord. It's, it's like that's what she waiting for. She waiting for a relationship like none other. Like that's my one. I know that's my one. That's the one God made for me. I'm telling you, that's what she look like. She's waiting on, and I think this is what you had when you was whoever this reading was for. You met somebody when you were 16. This is what you had. They fucking sent demons after you and crawlers after this fucking man. Them motherfuckers sent the most to you guys at a very young age to, and made you guys self-sabotage. You're one. You're one. Nine of swords. But peep this nine of swords. Look at how it's like her tears is like it's like she cried like blood is her um, tears. He said I want to love you and I want to love and treat you right. That's what he said. This this divine feminine, I'm getting like some Virgin Mary energy, like with the blood of when she's she's crying tears, nine of swords. I'm picking up on butterflies. It's like rebirth. It's like you this divine feminine knows now. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you you know what the fuck what was done behind your back since you was a child, and what the fuck was was attached to this divine masculine as well. I feel like you don't shed some fucking tears. You found out some shit that hurt at you so fucking bad. But it's how you still sleep in power. How nine of swords is different. Most nine of swords is somebody sitting in that bitch like this. Here, migraines, back aching, oh, and pain just can't, all fucked up, just tossing and turning, can't sleep. This nine of swords, you laying in that bitch with your motherfucking panties and motherfucking bra on, and you in that bitch still beautiful as fuck and the shed tears does not mean you weak to shed tears that's a, that's a sign of a very powerful powerful level of fucking emotional fucking 
feelings. That's the high, that's intellectual like a motherfucker. You ain't your fucking, you, yeah, you, you realize that some shit, you, you found out some shit, but it, you know, you up, you up. I'm picking up on some mother, and it's a rebirth. You're not staying up at night. It's about to be a fucking rebirth. You're not up at night no more fucking out, fucking out. Some illumination came to you about who you and this man are. I'm telling you, this like some Adam and Eve shit. This is the sun card. Some illumination came to you about who you and this man is supposed to be. And uh, you know now. I feel like you know now. I feel like whoever this person is, they know now. I'm going to tell you something. This king, this king of swords, he coming for you. He coming for you. Whoever this fucking man is, he coming for you. He coming because they're going to courage right there. And look what King of Swords. And this fuck, I feel like he's a descendant of some type of Viking fucking. Viking gods or some type of strong. I'm picking up very strong. From a very wealthy background. King of Pentacles. Chariot. Seven. Coming for you. Chariot. That's the only thing this man. Look at this chariot. That's the only thing this fucking man got on his mind is getting to you. You queen of fucking wands. Because you powerful as fuck, too. Like, I, I'm you, I'm picking up on a, a different, like, some... At, like, you got to understand, if you are descendants of uh, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve just with no regular human beings. They was they was powerful as fuck. They slept on them. They Christians don't want you to... They, they'll keep that shit a secret. They just want you to think that they was just, oh... A fucked up creation that didn't know no fucking better. That's the first man. That was the first woman. Come on now. God's creation. Everything was strong and way more motherfucking. We dumbed down like y'all dumbed down like a motherfucker. But trust me, that back then that was that was that was divine still. That was still divine. It wasn't nothing of weakness. So you gotta understand, whoever this woman is, if she is whoever this woman, whoever you are, you are powerful as fuck. And this come from the beginning. You're a reincarnation of this. These two. You powerful as fuck. You sexy as fuck. You over fertility. I'm I'm seeing every fucking thing. You sexy as fuck. The sunflowers, fertility, abundance. It's all kind of happiness, joyfulness, just all kind, but you sexy as fuck. Hence her one with flame on it. I'm picking up burning bush. I'm picking up burning bush. I'm picking up burning bush on every fucking thing. I'm picking up on some Moses and Zaporia energy. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's a tower coming to these people, though. It's a tower coming to these people for uh doing this. These people, guess what they tower is? It's a tower coming. It's a lot of fucking souls about to fucking burn. It's a lot of fucking families about to be destroyed. We all had a choice. And a lot of you demons, y'all, y'all, a lot of you wicked motherfuckers sent y'all fucking demons to put their fucking hands on the wrong fucking people. And because of that, this y'all tower. That's y'all tower. That's y'all tower. Y'all life about to be fucking taken away. Ace of Cups. Tower, Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups. See, y'all fucked with some, some Holy Grail type shit. These people fucked with some Holy Grail type shit that they should never fucking fucked with. And they, they woke up the beast. Guess what that beast doing, these motherfuckers? Wiping these motherfuckers out. I'm telling you, this is the strongest deck. Most Seven of Cups is some, it's about, you know, choices, options, illusions, and all this other shit. Spell work, fantasies. I mean, just, you know, shit that could be not re really real, just a bunch of illusion work. This Seven of Cups is this motherfucking powerful divine feminine destroying the fuck out them demons that motherfucker sent at home. Look at this shit real good. Everything you send her, she gonna defeat. I keep telling y'all, somebody's hands is powerful as fuck. 
Somebody got some powerful motherfucking hands. I'm telling you. Somebody is defeating all these motherfucking demons in disguise, in the spiritual realm, in multi-universes is what I heard. Somebody is whooping demon asses in all in multi-universes. Somebody is too. Somebody is too. I keep. I, I keep picking up on a too advanced person. I keep. That's why I unleash your creativity is right here. Somebody is a fucking engine. Somebody is a fucking engine. Somebody something else. I'm telling you. Somebody something else. And we all, that's what I was just saying, man, about coexist, man. We could have called it. We were supposed to all coexist on this place with, amongst so many people. So let's see what we get for courage. Remember, that's down. Now we doing your divine masculine. He just motherfucking walked away from a shapeshifter, a crawler. I'm picking up on a crawler. Ooh. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> something is about to, something is here. And this, and I feel like Seven of Pentacles, most Seven of Pentacles is somebody looking down, you know, waiting for something to come in. I keep telling you this deck is way fucking stronger. This Seven of Pentacles, she ain't fucking looking down. She got her motherfucking hatchet in her hand. She about to collect. She is about to collect. Ain't no more fucking, she say, fuck that. I'm coming for mines and mines now. Ain't no more fucking, ain't no more stagnation. Ain't no more motherfucking delays. Ain't no more motherfucking potholes. Ain't none of that shit about to motherfucking stop me from getting me, for getting what I know. It's, it's courage. Both of them on some courage energy right now. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody about to collect. Shh telling you justice we got justice right now i'm telling you somebody taking justice in their own fucking hands somebody say fuck no i'm coming to get what's mine and what belong to mine to me somebody's beautiful as fuck and powerful as fuck look i'm telling you oh somebody done transform you divine feminine you done transform into three different goddesses Yo, you don't transform. You don't transform into three different goddesses, and now you're at your. This is giving me, um, ooh, you know, ooh, yo, goddess, uh, goddess, uh, Kali. She's actually, she done, she's actually three different goddesses all in one in different names. And so, your next card is the lovers right here, but this is your mother daughter crone this is your somebody that fucking went through cycles in life that transformed three different times uh, that's why I, i'm telling you somebody that transformed three different times and now you are fucking ready see when you was following your intuition when you was in this five of pentacles you was just praying you wasn't worried about material wealth and stuff like that you gave your undivided attention to god is what i was getting you gave your undivided attention to Mother Universe. You gave your undivided attention to Mother uh, Mother Earth, Mother Nature. You listen to the highest. You listen to the Ascended Masters. You listen to the Archangels that brought you messages. messages. You listen to your entire spiritual team. I'm talking about someone was a listener. You communicated with so many different different. They just said realms. It was unbelievable. You 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 listen to everything is what I heard. Water, air, wind, fire, earth. You listen to everything. God was speaking into you in all kind of digital. They said, "Fuck you!" Don't listen in all kind of ways. You is advanced as fuck. I'm telling you, someone is an engine. You, you see this three snake now? Look what you done transformed yourself into by being patient. See, people wanted you out in the cold, but what they didn't know is that when they fucked with your money, they put you in, you the type that you all you're going to do is go into solitary. Go to God. That's the type of person you is. Oh, I'm going to go to God. I love talking to God. So that's what they did. They put you in solitary, didn't know that you transformed into a whole fucking beast. I'm telling you. 
That's why unleash your creativity is out. Somebody done fucking transformed on these motherfucking people. Oh my goodness. Somebody is on fuck here. Somebody is not to be fucked with. Threes is so fucking strong in this reading. And it's the lovers. You done transformed. It's a lot of something about to come to you, sweetheart. I just courage and lovers ended justice. I don't know. Something about to come to you, high priestess. You already know it. Okay, that's what we're gonna end it on, guys. High priestess. High priestess. You are descendants of something that is so fucking old, like the beginners. Y'all done defeated a lot of shit. Guess what? It's here for you. It's here for you. And those that try to stop it? Hmm. All right, guys.